Hey, what's up, guys? This is Yasa with another video, and as I've promised you, we'll make a video on application of Fajan rule. So this is the application. So uh, you know Fajan rule. It is for covalent character of an ionic bond. As the covalent character increases, there are many properties which are being changed. So let's see. Uh, I'll just uh, explain it if. polarization power of cation increases the polarization increases okay if you want to know about the polarization or polarization power you just watch my previous video to this one okay as the polarization power increases the phenomena of polarization increases and we know that as polarization increases covalent character also increases and if covalent character increases the melting point will decrease and solubility will also decrease now you would be thinking by increasing covalent character what happens why melting point is decreasing so for your kind information here we are talking about covalent character of an ionic bond and we know that ionic compounds are having more melting point as compared to covalent compounds is that clear so covalent character of an ionic bond increases then obviously the melting point decreases and we know that uh, ionic compounds specifically ionic compounds are more soluble in water and if there is a decrease in ionic character obviously their solubility will decrease and the third thing with increase in covalent character color imparting tendency will increase okay so as the covalent character increases color imparting tendency also increases okay so i repeat this once again so if polarization power of cation this is mainly for cation okay if it increases the phenomena of polarization increases the covalent character of the compound will increase melting point will decrease solubility will also decrease and the color imparting tendency will increase okay so one by one we'll gonna study all of them so first i'll i'll discuss over here is about covalent character okay so in this video we'll first talk about covalent character uh i'll just take example for this so that you'll understand in a better way let's have the first example suppose if we are having be cl ng cl2 CaCl2, SrCl2, and BaCl2. Now we know that the anion is fixed. The anion is fixed, and it is Cl minus. And if you we'll just look the cation over here, it is nothing but the alkaline earth metal, and they all are having same charge that is plus two, but their size keeps on increasing. Their sizes keep on increasing, and we know that as the size of cation keep on increasing the covalent character keeps on decreasing or else i can say the size of beryllium is smallest so it will be having the highest covalent character so this will be the order of covalent character now we'll move towards the second one we can also take example of uh, alkali metals so we are having lcl nacl kcl RbCl and CaCl. So here you can see the anion is again common. It is chloride ion. But if you just observe the cation, it's again alkali metal. So the cation over here is alkali metal. Okay. Again, I'll say the lithium is smallest in size, so its polarization power will be highest, and that's what the covalent character will keep on decreasing. Okay. You can also have example of Na. 2 and Na2S. If we we'll just look for the size of oxygen and sulfur, the sulfur is bigger in size, so it will be pulled easily by sodium. So this one has more covalent character as compared to oxygen. Okay, so this is about the covalent character. We can also have example of NaCl and AgCl. Okay, if we we'll just concentrate here, sodium is having normal. or you can say noble gas configuration and ag is having 
pseudo noble gas configuration and we know that the metals which are having pseudo noble gas configuration they have more polarization power so obviously the covalent character of AgCl is more okay so this is all about the covalent character now we'll move towards the second property and that is the melting point okay so now here we'll talk about melting point okay we know that uh, ionic compounds are having more melting point and if their ionic character decreases the melting point also decreases so let's have the first example okay so we'll be having our first example that is so here we'll have example SnCl2 and SnCl4 now here Sn is in plus 2 oxidation state and here the tin is in plus 4 oxidation state so the covalent character in the second one is more that's what its melting point is less and let me tell you one thing uh, SnCl2 exists in a solid state whereas this one SnCl4 exists in a liquid state okay now second example that we're gonna have is the same kind of PbCl2 and PbCl4 okay so in case of PbCl2 we know that again the same funda Pb over here is in plus 2 oxidation state and here it is in a plus 4 oxidation state so more covalent character so melting point of PbCl2 is more uh, but I'll just tell you a very important thing about the melting point don't just look for the covalent character don't just look for the covalent character also refers the concept of lattice energy lattice energy in case of ionic solid in case of ionic solid because exceptional behavior is observed exceptional behavior is observed okay so be careful while dealing with the melting point okay so now we'll move towards the uh, our third concept and that is nothing but the solubility for solubility first i'll take example BEF2 then there is uh, BECL2 and there is BEBR2 and then BEI2 as we know that uh, the cation remains same but the anion keeps on changing that is we have taken halogen and we know that in halogen family on moving down the group that is first class biryani I8 okay this is the short form to by heart g halogen we know that the size keep on increasing so if you remember the size keep on increasing and we know that as the size of a nine increases the covalent character increases and as the covalent character increases the solubility will surely decrease so order of solubility is like this now we can have second example now second example is feoh twice and feoh thrice that is one is called as ferrous hydroxide another one is called as ferric hydroxide we know that ferric stands for plus 3 oxidation state and ferrous stands for plus 2 oxidation state and in plus 3 oxidation state more will be the covalent character so obviously the solubility of FeOH twice will be more okay we will continue for the we can also take example of NaCl and AgCl. We know that the covalent character in AgCl is more so that its solubility is less than NaCl. We can also take example of KCl and KCl we can take example of CuCl. Okay, obviously the ionic compound this one is having a covalent character the solubility of KCl is more. Okay so we are already done with uh, the three fundas that is the first one is uh, the covalent character second one is the melting point third one is the solubility okay again here i'd like to tell you a very important thing uh, for solubility 
in order to have a correct data you should always refer to a concept called as hydration energy okay because in this also some of the exceptions are being observed okay hydration energy i have explained in one of my videos so you can just go to my video list and you can just find it over there okay now we proceed towards the fourth concept and that is the fourth concept is color imparting tendency color imparting tendency okay so now i would like to tell you about uh, the color imparting tendency as the covalent character increases as the covalent character increases it has been observed that the color becomes more and more intense okay uh, for this for explanation of this i'll take example of e g f take let's let's have example of all ag compounds and this right over here okay so the first one that we are having is silver fluoride then second one is silver fluoride and then silver bromide then silver iodide and finally we are having silver sulfide in the first example that is silver fluoride the covalent character is very less it is somewhat around uh, 8% okay uh, you have you may have different different reference book which are giving different different data but the reference book which i have used in that it is found to be 8 to 10% and in agcl you are having covalent character 20% in agbr it is 76% in agr it is 85% and in ag2s it is 96% so according to uh, the data we can see that on moving rightwards the covalent character the covalent character is keep on increasing so the color should also become more and more intense so let me tell you very clearly here the silver fluoride is colorless okay the silver fluoride is colorless and uh, agcl is white in color agcl is white in color whereas agbr is of light yellow color okay agbr is of light yellow color okay and this one agi is of dark yellow and this one is a dark yellow okay and finally when you're talking about silver sulfide it is having the most covalent character and that's what if the covalent character is highest so silver sulfide is black in color okay i hope you understood the video very well okay and uh, please don't forget to share and subscribe thanks a lot for watching